We want to understand how epigenetic modification could affect the regulatory activity of gene transcription and whether or not we could predict transcript production from epigenetic modification. To answer these questions, we built a dynamical system which would capture the dynamics of transcription factor binding and unbinding and the resulting gene transcription within a possibly cyclic gene regulatory network. Our system takes the form of a piecewise deterministic Markov process. This means that it couples a set of discrete variables which evolve stochastically with a set of continuous variables that evolve deterministically conditioned on the state of the discrete variables. In this case, the bound or unbound state of transcription factor binding sites are represented by the Boolean vector B, which evolves according to Poisson jump processes determined by available transcription factor. Transcription amount and in turn available protein is represented by the continuous vector G, which evolves according to an ODE, which changes with the state of B. Another way to conceptualize the vector B is as representing the onness or offness of each transcription factor to target regulation. The system is detailed in equations two and three, and the chemical master equation is given in equation four. We can use a set of paired epigenetic and transcription data to learn the parameters for this system. We developed the method using matched gene expression and methylation data from the Grady Pro Trauma Project. Our method needs a known re gene regulatory network, as well as information about transcription factor binding sites to build the system. We found a network that included 28 genes with sufficient regulatory information for parameter estimation and prediction. We estimate parameters using a stochastic gradient descent method. We take the epigenetic data as model input and compute the likelihood of the paired transcription information in the model's equilibrium distribution using a modified form of Gillespie's algorithm. After parameter fitting, we may again use Gillespie's algorithm to generate an approximation of the equilibrium distribution. For comparison with other models, we take the mean of this distribution to be our prediction. The top histogram of figure two shows our model performance without parameter fitting, while the bottom histogram shows that after parameter fitting, our model outperforms linear models. But better predictions of gene transcript are not what makes our model exciting. What is exciting about our model is that it allows us to look under the hood and see details about the regulation that is happening. If we think of a gene regulatory network as a set of cities connected by highways, then the transcript prediction is the population of the cities, and the regulation is the traffic on the highways. Most models, including most machine learning models, would tell us only the outcome of this traffic. Our model can tell us not just that, but also how much traffic there is on the various routes between two cities, and how many people are going into and out of the cities on average. Using a gene regulatory network from a breast epithelial cell, we performed parameter fitting and model prediction on this network using paired data from the Cancer Genome Atlas. Figure 3 shows our prediction of regulatory activity from epigenetic data of a single patient. The predicted activity of a transcription factor target to target regulation is represented by the thickness of the arrow, and the total regulation of each target node is calculated in two metrics and represented as size and color. Regulatory activity is computed as the probability that a regulation is on when the model is at equilibrium distribution. In addition to generating a prediction for single patient, we can observe the variance in regulation across a data set in order to look for genes that are regulated at a higher or lower level in different samples. Figure 4 shows the variance of the regulatory activity across a set of breast cancer tumor tissue samples from different patients. We notice one gene in particular with a high variance in regulation, and a high variance in, in a relevant transcription factor to target regulation. This is the ORCA gene for an aurora kinase, which has been found to be amplified in breast cancer cells. To the best of our knowledge, we are the first to accurately predict gene expression from methylation data using a dynamical systems approach, and our approach allows us to look under the hood and inspect the regulatory activity within a gene regulatory network as determined by epigenetic modification. We have demonstrated that the approach identified a different, differentially regulated gene, ORCA. 
We'd like to thank the Center for Complex Systems at University of California, Irvine, as this project was conceived as part of their short course in systems biology.